St. Mary's Old Girls came from Samoa to attend the big event. There are 13 contestants for the Mrs. Samoa contest, and they vary in age. Some young, some old, but tonight they're all going to have some fun. Julia Warwick, who organized the contest, talks about her idea of a Samoan woman. She is a very special person. She is the custodian of our culture and tradition. She is the pearl of our society. Hence, in this pageant, our purpose has been to highlight the true character and personality of the woman of Samoa. Well, as a Samoan woman, I think we still have our feet firm and, you know, on the ground about what we are as Samoan women, our values, our beliefs and our um, Samoan customs. And I think it helps us cope with the pressures of modern society and the pressure of people promoting all sorts of things about women. And without that strong belief and the firm foundation of being a Samoan woman, I don't think I would have been able to, to cope. But I represent a group of Samoan women um, called Sulufa Inga or Ainga. This is a new group and it's only Samoan women at the moment. The, we work closely with departments of social welfare, court and uh, education, in especially looking into the problems of sexually abused and especially the sexually abused young girls. I would like very much to enter this competition. Uh, it's just to, it make me feel more mature as a woman. And it shows, it make me feel that the, uh, how important of a mother in a family. Did you go to the St. Mary's school in Samoa? Yes, I was a dean in St. Mary's old girls right from the, uh, the primary to the intermediate until to the college. A silent siva makes it difficult for the judges to compare performances. One of the guest judges came especially from Samoa. And as the talent continues, there are even more surprises in store.
Glory to God. Contestants are expected to answer four questions in Samoan as well as do a traditional Siva. Samoan community uh, look up to, to people who are leaders in whatever fields they are. Um, I think it's probably a hard struggle right throughout school having to compete with the Pālangi system. And I think when somebody achieves something, be it uh, as a school teacher or as a doctor or as a lawyer, then I think it's something that Pacific Island people look up to and say, well, if I work hard and study hard, I could get up there. There is equal opportunity if they prepare to work hard. Some of the women perhaps are not so well educated like others. What chance do they have? Well, um, I, I look at it, at, uh, they don't have to have any degrees and they have, don't have to have any secondary education. But I think people have uh, or contribute in different ways. And I think a person who is not as well educated has all the chance in the world because there are a lot of people who don't get any thanks for the community services they provide. Uh, for instance, things like Meals on Wheels, Visiting the Sick. And, you know, those are the unsung heroes, I believe, of the community. And it's good to see those people coming forward. And how do you feel about women parading on a stage? Well, being married myself, I probably have got to be careful how I answer that question. But, um, you know, I think sometimes uh, people say to tend that they, they get exploited, but I like being involved in this one because it's Samoan, it's Fa Samoa. I know what, you know, it's all about. And uh, perhaps if it was a swimwear contest, I probably would be for being a judge. 